Shalom. Good evening, brethren. It's Sunday today. So, here I am again. Uh, tayo ay mag-aaral ng banal na salita ng Panginoon. And my topic for tonight is the power of the Holy Spirit. But before we go on to our topic for tonight, let us bow our heads for a short prayer to honor the presence of the Lord in our midst right now. Heavenly Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity once again, Lord God, that you had given to me, Lord God, to deliver your words, Lord God. Lord, I pray that you would empower me, Holy Spirit. And Lord, I pray that let the words that would come out from my mouth is your very word, Lord God. And Lord, I ask God for your precious blood to cleanse me, my entire being, oh Lord God, that I may be worthy enough, Lord God, to stand here, Lord God, and deliver your words, your message of revelation, to God, to your people, oh Lord. And I command right now seven legions who are angels of God, angels of assignment, ministering angels of the Lord, in a spirit which is not coming from God, I command them right now to cast out in Jesus' mighty name, and I, Lord God, only welcome the spirit of the living god be in this place and lord i pray lord god in jesus mighty name lord god open the hearts to god of understanding lord god of your people of your children lord god who will hear for tonight lord god through lord god the social media lord god through live streaming lord god lord i pray that every word lord god it would penetrate lord god into the four dividing soul of their heart bones and marrow, oh god so that lord god it will be their guide and direction lord god and their walk with you lord god lord i pray lord god that let your name, Lord God, be honored in this place. Let your name, Lord God, be glorified and magnified, Lord God, in our midst for tonight, Lord God, in the mighty name of the Lord, Yeshua HaMasaya, I pray. Amen. Our uh, scripture reading for tonight is Acts 1.8. But you will receive, Holy Spirit, bless your holy word, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and even to the remotest part of the earth. When we become born again Christian, when we receive the Holy Spirit, we have the power to influence others. We will tell others what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary and how he had conquered death and reigned victoriously. Without the empowering of the Holy Spirit in our lives, we cannot testify. So it's very important that we have the Holy Spirit indwelling in our hearts. So uh, my, my first point for tonight is give the Holy Spirit give us the power to witness. Uh, Holy Spirit, bless your holy word. Let us read in 1 Peter 3.15. But sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts always being ready to make a defense to everyone who asked you to give an account for the hope that is in you yet with gentleness and reverence witnessing your faith begins with honoring christ jesus in your heart god will prepare your mind and give you the words to speak but you first have to give him your heart keep giving Christ your heart each day, and he will continue opening doors for you to share his love with others. Our life, when we receive Jesus Christ, is a living witness to our family, to our friends, to our office mate, to our neighbors, because when we have the Holy Spirit in our lives. The Holy Spirit will help us to change. That is in the second points that I'm going to discuss later on. So, Holy Spirit has very, Holy Spirit is very, very important in our walk, in our Christian life. How can we testify on something that we don't experience and we can experience changes we can experience testifying to other people when we have the holy spirit in us because through the holy spirit only we can be changed and you know like before when i was when i was a new christian and my old friend 
they are the one who could testify who I really was. And they can change the changes even though you will not tell them that, oh, I am already a born-again Christian. Because it will naturally change your ways, the, the way you speak, the way you, the way you, you carry yourself, the way you interact with people. There is a changes and that is something that the Holy Spirit is working in our lives. So, and the second point is the Holy Spirit has the power to transform us. In 2 Corinthians 3.18, But we all with unveiled face beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory just as from the Lord, the Spirit. So, God releases us from the bandage of sin. Yung mga gawain natin before. Dati kung adik ka, itatransform ka ni Lord. When you truly accepted Jesus Christ from your heart and allow Him to rule over your life, then He will help you to transform your lives. Kung dati nakikipag-live-in ka, nung natanggap mo na si Jesus Christ, hindi mo na kaya siyang gawin yun. Kung dati mainitin ang ulo mo, kung dati palamura ka, kung dati eh, masyado kang ma-pride kahit na hanggang kamatayan, hindi kita babatiin kasi inaway mo ako, hindi na yun ngayon kung na kay Kristo na tayo. Hindi natin pwedeng ipamuha yung dati nating pag-uugali. Kasi transformation comes when we accepted Jesus Christ of Nazareth as our Savior, as our Master, as our Lord over our lives. Hindi pwede magiging siya ang master lang dito sa area ng, ng, ng sa work mo. Hindi pwede siya magiging master, eh, hindi pwede master lang siya dito sa finances mo and the rest ng personal mo ay eh, akin muna to Lord. Hindi pwede ganon. Dapat buo mong ibibigay ang lahat sa kanya. Kung gusto mong ma-change ka, gusto mo nga mag-change, hindi ka naman umaate ng Bible study, hindi ka naman nakikinig ng preaching, then you cannot expect any transformations in your lives because you are not keeping yourself in the Word of God. Hindi ka nag nagbabasa ng Bible, wala kang devotion, hindi ka umaate ng service. So, there is no transformations will happen. You will be the same person as before. You accepted Jesus Christ. So when we talk about transformations is we have to totally surrender 100% our weaknesses. Yung mga pangit nating mga pag-uugali is surrender natin yun kay Lord. Kung nandyan ka rin lang naman, bumangon ka naman. Makinig ka ng salita ng Diyos. Kasi gusto mong baguhin ka ni God. But you are not allowing the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth to change you. Because you are still the master of yourselves. So the Holy Spirit will not, you know, will not work in you because hindi mo binibigay sa kanya. Yung, 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 yung part na yan, hindi mo binibigay sa kanya ng buong buo. So, ano transformation ang mangyayari sa buhay mo? Wala. Kung dati pala disco ka, Lord, help me. Transform me in this area of my life. I cannot do it by myself. You have to humble down yourself before the Lord. You have to acknowledge that this is your weaknesses and I want Lord God to be transformed. So, kailangan natin matransform, kailangan natin isuko ang buong buo sa Panginoong Yeshua Hamasaya. Third point, the Holy Spirit guide us. In John 16, verse 13, Holy Spirit, bless your holy word. But when He, the Spirit of truth, comes, He will guide you in all the truth, for He will not speak of His own initiative, but whatever He hears, He will speak, and He will disclose to you what is to come. We must seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit with all humility. Wag tayong magmarunong na alam ko to, hindi ko kailangan ng guidance ni Lord. Kasi nangyari na yan sa akin, 
when I apply those credit cards before, I never ask the guidance of the Holy Spirit. I never ask God, Lord, do I need to apply for this credit card? Do I need to apply for this loan? I just do it on my own. Because in that area of my life, I am still the master. So, what happened? Problem. Ayaw mo na magkaroon ka ng problema sa buhay mo, then ask the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Kasi without the guidance of the Holy Spirit, definitely, and that is 110%, sure, in ang ending mo yan, you will be in a mess. Because it happened to me. And nakakatroma. And that is a lesson that I have learned Yes, mahirap siya. But I have to. Kasi kasalanan ko eh. Hindi ko naman siya kinunsulta. Hindi ako naging sa kanya ng gabay, ng banal na espiritu kung kailangan ko ba itong gawin. Minsan kasi sa mga decision making natin, akala natin, eh, kaya na natin decision. Lord, kaya ko na to kahit wala ka. Sa tingin mo kasi kaya mo. But in the process of Making that decision, sa proseso ka pa lang, ano ka na, uh, nang gewang-gewang ka na. Kasi the wisdom is always, kailangan natin hingin yun kay Lord. So let us not depend on our own, you know, kakayanan. So He is the one who will lead us to make the right decision. Sa tingin mo kasi guwapo, lagi mo siyang kachat. Eh, pwede naman. Siguro to. Kasi nasa ano ka na eh, nasa lagpas ka na kasi sa kalendaryo. So, para lang, para lang makapag-asawa ka at nang masabi na meron kang asawa o masabi na meron kang boyfriend, eto, tinangga po siya. May hindi mo malang tinanong si Lord. Lord, ito na ba yung prepare mo sa akin? Naghihintay ka na rin lang naman ng napakatagal Hintayin mo na yung tama na manggagaling sa Panginoon. Huwag masyadong nagmamadali kasi sa kamamadali natin, natitisod tayo, na, na ano tayo, natatapilok. At sa pagkatapilok na yan natin, expect the unexpected. There will be painful, uh, ano yan, uh, pagdadaanan mo. So God will not lead us astray because that is His promise. So, our real love, joy, and peace consist only in yielding ourselves entirely to Him and being willing to be guided and influenced by His unseen hand. To be led by the Spirit is to choose voluntarily and consciously to submit to the Word of God. Kaya need natin magbasa ng Bible kasi this is our life manual. Decision making, pag... pag uh, Paghanap ng trabaho, pagtanggap mo ng makakapartner mo sa buhay, dito mo makukuha at dito si Lord sa'yo mangungusap. Minsan, yes, we have friends that can give them, that can give us their own suggestion, their own opinions, but at the end of the day, it is between you and the Lord. So you have to depend on God. Huwag kang magmagaling na as if alam mo ang lahat. As if ang galing-galing mo. There is nothing as magaling kay Lord. Saka ka lang naghingi kasi ng guidance nung na-decisionan mo na. Wala na, huli na. Dinesisyonan mo na eh. So, expect the unexpected and you have to humble down yourself to the Lord. At Lord, I'm sorry, I made a wrong decision. So we need to humble ourselves before God. So number four, Holy Spirit is our comforter. Isaiah 51 verse 12, Holy Spirit, bless your holy word. I, even I, I am he who comforts you. It is Jesus speaking. Who are you that you are afraid of man who dies and of the son of man who is made like grass? In John 14, 18, I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Like this time of pandemic. Minsan, dumadaan tayo na 
nagwo-worry ka. So instead of running to a friend for comfort, especially when you are heartbroken, to make sure you will get the correct and the right advice, run to God because He is our comforter. Whenever we are tired or it's about to fall, we are powerless, we can have the confidence that we are not alone because He is with us. Nandito siya sa ating puso. Minsan kasi hinahanap natin ang comfort sa ibang tao. Sa friend. Tapos minsan, hihingi ka pa ng comfort sa opposite sex pa. Which is a very, very, very wrong. Never ever Ask for a comfort to an opposite sex. Ask comfort from the Lord. Andiyan lang siya. Inihintay ka lang din naman niya na tawagin mo siya at i-allow mo siya sa buhay mo na pumasok. So, He is our comforter. As, com as the comforter, He also encourages us. Yes, our friends would encourage us as well. He will strengthen us by inspiring with hope that there is hope. Sa tingin mo kasi wala ka ng hope. But there is. When you seek God, He will remove every doubts na ini-inject ng kampo ni Satanas sa iyong isipan. Yung pain na nandiyan sa puso mo, anong pinagdadaanan mo, yung hardship mo, yung paghihirap, yung discomfort mo sa life, He will relieve our affliction. He will soothe us in time of grief. Dito sa ano na to, because I, I, I've watched this uh, funeral for Brother Eddie Belenueva's uh, daughter who passed away. And you can feel the pain na kahit nanonood ka lang, tutuloy yung luha mo. But you can see in them that their strength, their courage, na though it will, you know, it will crush their, their heart, kasi mahal nila yung, 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 ano na yun, yung anak nilang namatay. But they found comfort with the living God. Andiyan si Lord, Lord, comfort mo naman ako, na, 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 nasaktan ako. Sing song to the Lord. You praise Him. You worship Him. Through songs and wor through praise and worship, God will comfort us. Because the songs are His very word. So, kung medyo nadi-disappoint ka, kung medyo nasasaktan ka, kung ano mang pinagdadaanan mo sa buhay, Kantahan mo lang si God. Matapos kang kumanta, at peace ka na. Kasi kinomfort ka na ni Lord. Mas masarap kasi na yung comfort natin eh, manggagaling sa Panginoon. Ang comfort ng tao nandyan lang yan, but iba kasi yung, yung comfort na manggagaling mismo sa Kanya. Yung unexplainable, unexpressable na na maramdaman mo na kinomfort ka ni God. Kasi when I was, you know, at that time na nagigrieve ako, I, I, you know, I can find only or I can find the, the comfort in the presence of God. Pag umiyak na ako kay Lord, sigaw kung sigaw, iyak man kung iyak. But after iyak, after sigaw, ang gaan sa puso ko. Kasi I know that He comforted me. So, number five, Holy Spirit is a source of wisdom, revelation, and power. 1 Corinthians 2, verses 10 to 11, Holy Spirit, bless your holy word. For to us, God revealed them through the Spirit, for the Spirit searches all things, even the depths of God. For who among men knows the thoughts of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him. 
Even so, the thoughts of God, no one knows except the Spirit of God. We receive revelations to the Holy Spirit. Lagi nating pinagpiper. Lord, give me wisdom. Give me knowledge. To be able to have the power, you must have the Holy Spirit in you. It is only the Holy Spirit will empower us, will enable us to obey and follow the commandments of the Lord. He is our source of wisdom. He is our source of strength. Number six, Holy Spirit is a seal in the life of a believer. Ephesians 1.13, Holy Spirit, bless your holy word. In him, you also, after listening to the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation, having also believed, you were sealed in him with the Holy Spirit of promise. In the ancient world, a seal was a legal signature, attesting ownership and validating what was sealed. It's like the yung diploma natin kapag ka tayo nakagraduate, yung ating uh, transcript of records, merong seal yan ng school kung saan ka nag-graduate. Meaning, in a test na you are really graduated in that college, in that school, and that is your curse. Kung commerce ka man, or accountant ka man, or, or abogado ka man, so the Holy Spirit is our mark of adoption as God's children. Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to his followers so that they could be confident in their salvation. Just as you might make a deposit or a down payment on a new car to make sure the salesperson doesn't sell it to anyone. Diba pag may gusto tayo? Na, na isang bagay at kung pwede naman mag-deposit ka kasi babalikan mo na lang siya. So yun yung guarantee mo na mahuhold mo yung items na yun kasi you make a deposit. Minsan, like pagkuha natin dito sa, sa flat na ito, we pay the deposit just to make sure that the real estate will not give this flat to somebody else. The Holy Spirit is a deposit in our lives confirming the validity of Christ's message and that we belong to Christ. Yun yung sealed natin na we are belong to the Lord, the Holy Spirit. Number seven, the Holy Spirit convict us. John 16 verse 7 to 8, But I tell you the truth, it is to your advantage that I go away for for if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And he, and he, when he comes, will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. Minsan, nakukonvict na. Tuloy pa rin. Nag, ano lang, nagbibingi-bingihan lang. Nangungusap na ang banal na Espiritu. Oy, bumangon ka. Magsimba ka na. Oy, magbasa ka na oras na para magpray. Masarap matulog eh. Lalo na 3 o'clock in the morning ka, sarapan ang tulog. Unat-unat muna ng ano, katawan or maghilamos ka. Toothbrush ka para magising ka talaga. Kasi inaano ka na ng Holy Spirit eh, nagumising ka na. So, kung hindi ka sensitive, ay di na ano mo, nalagpasan mo. Lana. Natapos na sila magpray, naghihilig ka pa. Kasi ni-remind ka na eh. Inano ka na pero sige ka pa rin. Mas pinili mo kasi yung comfort mo na matulog instead of gumising ka ng 1 to 2 hours para lang sumali ka sa prayer. O para lang mag-devotion ka o para lang magkaroon ka rin ng ng ano na ma, ma Mapakain mo rin yung kaluluwa mo ng salita ng Diyos. So walang magre-remind sa atin. O yung ginagawa mo, mali. 
is the Holy Spirit who will convict us, who will remind us. He will rebuke us if we are doing things which is not in line to the Word of God. It is not in line to His will in our lives. Nag-ano nag ka kasi eh, nag -re -re ka, supposed to be dapat dederecho ka. Ay, dito ako. Alam mo yun? May, may ganun tayong attitude minsan eh. re muna. Sa ka re mo, nahulog ka. Wala, nabangin na pala yun. Eh, nung, nung inaano ka, na, na mag-U-turn ka, ayaw mo, dumiretso ka. O, nahulog ka tuloy, sa bangin. So, we should be sensitive. Uh, number eight, the Holy Spirit sanctifies us and enable us to bear fruits. In Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. May love, may love ba tayo sa heart natin? Dapat wala ng hatred, wala ng anger, wala ng rage. May joy ba? Baka naman puro na lang lagi na kasi mangot. Parang gusto, para bang pasan mo yung buong mundo, nakasambakol na yung mukha mo. Hindi ka na makitaan ng joy. Holy joy pa naman tayo. Peace. May peace ka ba sa puso mo? Puro ka nalang, puro ka nalang pag-aalala. Wala ka naman magagawa sa pag-aalala mo. O, may patience ba? Maghintay-hintay konti, darating din yan, parating na ang blessings. Kain ba tayo sa mga kasama natin, sa mga friends natin, sa mga ka-churchmate natin? Goodness, faithfulness. How faithful are we? Gentleness. Alam mo itong gentleness na ito? Since nga, no, akla nun, yung, yung ano kasi namin is maragsa, akala, lagi akong na, ano dyan, na mi misunderstood. Na, Akala nila galit ako. Yun, yun na yung aking natural. So Lord, give me gentle, the, a gentle spirit, God, na maging malambing. Alam mo yun? Para, kasi maragsa yung bagsak ng ano eh, ng, 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 ng ano ko, ng pag-deliver ko ng ano, ng salita. So, hinihingi ko yan kay Lord, Lord give me a gentle spirit. Self-control. Kung madali kang maghalit, kunting ano lang, naku, hindi nakaayos. Bakit nandito to? So, self-control, yun ang pinaka ano eh. Ito yung basihan eh. Yung self-control, hirap to eh. But we will be able to overcome by the help of the Holy Spirit. Again, such things, there is no law. Having the Holy Spirit in us, we have the power to change. To be sanctified means to set apart. Ihihiwalay ka. In 1 Corinthians 6, 11, And such were some of you, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. He will sanctify us from our unrighteousness, from our sins. And number nine, Holy Spirit imparts love. Romans 5, verses 3 to 5, Holy Spirit, bless your holy word. As we endure trials, God's love poured out into us. Through the Holy Spirit, He will carry us through the hard seasons of our life. Without love, how? Paano natin ma, 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 paano tayo makatulong? Paano tayo makapag-pray? Sa isang nangangailangan ng prayer kung wala tayong pagmamahal na nanggagaling sa ating Panginoong Yeshua. Hamasay. The love that we should share to the people around us, it should be the love that comes from God. Because kung love lang na, na sa atin, conditional pa tayo. Mahalin ko siya kung tulungan niya ako. Ano yun? May, may ganun eh. Tapos yung love mo, love mo lang siya sa certain area na ganun ko. But when the love that you have is coming from the source of your life, that is Jesus Christ Himself, it will just automatically, natural na lang yun eh, mag flow sa heart mo yung love ni God. 
Kasi ang love ni Lord is hindi mo kayang i-embrace. Sobrang laki ng pagmamahal ni Lord sa atin. Kaya nga siya na, ano, namatay sa cross ng Calvario because of His love. And number 10, the Holy Spirit gives us the power for victory over sin. Galatians 5.16, Holy Spirit, bless your holy word. So I say, live by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. Ano ba yung mga sinful nature na yan? We will be victorious in our lives, in our walk with God. As a human being, as we are still in our flesh, we have weaknesses. But with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, with the power of the Holy Spirit in us, we can overcome sin in our lives. Sin of what? Sin of lying? Sin of being, I know, uh, proud? My pride? So we can overcome. We can have the victory. Because of the Holy Spirit will empower us, will enable us to walk in victory over sinful things. Kasi nandito tayo sa mundo na kontrolado na ni Satanas. So para mapagtagumpayan natin yun, we need the Holy Spirit. We can overcome any trials in life because God is with us. We cannot do anything apart from God. Kahit anong gawin natin, we cannot and can never without Him in our lives. So our lives should be dependent to Him. Should anchor into His love. Without the love of God, paano natin magagawa yung mga bagay na dapat natin gawin para sa ating kapwa? Dapat naka-attach tayo lagi. Dapat hindi tayo na nakaka, ano, hindi tayo na nadidetach kay Lord. Pag nadidetach tayo sa kanya nako, delikado. Akala mo kaya mo. Akala mo okay ka lang. Minsan pag tinatanong ka, "How are you? I'm okay." My pastor in in a uh, in a uh, in another church before Hindi siya kontento sa sagot na okay lang. Okay ka lang ba talaga? O okay okayhan ka lang? Mas magandang magsabi ka na ito yung sitwasyon mo. Kasi yung okay mo hindi pala okay yun eh. So, paano ka magiging victorious? Huwag kang magsarili. Akala mo eh, napakagaling mo na. Akala mo, alam mo na lahat. Akala mo, kaya mo lahat. No, there's no such things as like that. We, we need God. We need God in everything. Everything. We cannot do anything. Yes, magagawa mo. But, May bat eh. Tama nga ba ang ginagawa mo? So, para magiging victorious tayo, kasi the world, paglabas mo, marami na dyan kasalanan ka makikita. Eh kasalanan niya yung tulog ka ng tulog eh. Tulog ka ng tulog, meron ditong preaching. Kasalanan yun. How to overcome it? Ay, gumising ka. Ligo ka. Hmm. Kasi you miss the blessing. You miss the opportunity that that message might be for you to encourage you, to enlighten you. Kasi you're about to make a decision in your life. Kay kaso nga, pinili mo, bumangon ka, pinili mong makinig sa preaching. Naku! Yung preaching pala. Tamang-tama dahil sa iyo. Diba? Amen? 
So, wag natin, wag natin anuhin yung ating ano sarili na yun, alam mo 'yon? Tulog ako kasi napapagod ako. Sino ba naman hindi napapagod? Lahat tayo napapagod dahil eh. lahat tayo ay nagtatrabaho. Pero nawawala yung pagod na yun kasi si Lord ang mag magbigay sa atin ng strength. Mas gustuhin mo dito magmukmuk kaysa umaten ka ng Bible study. Kasi gusto mo mag-moment. I hope na yung pag-moment mo, moment mo nga na ba talaga si Lord? What if kung hindi, si Lord ang ka-moment mo? Naku, delikado ka. So how you will be become victorious? In-isolate mo yung sarili mo. Never ever isolate yourself. Mag-lockdown ka kay God. Huwag kang mag-lockdown ng, wala lang, kasi gusto mo lang magsarili. Gusto mo lang magiging quiet. Mag-quiet moment ka kay Lord. Kasi, marami si God sa yung revelation. Diyan sa kinakaharap mo, ano man yung kinakaharap mo, trial sa buhay mo. We can never be, we can never be victorious in our lives. We cannot. And we can never. Without God, I don't think so. Without the guidance of the Holy Spirit, without the power of the Holy Spirit to enable us to do things for God's glory, we cannot do it. So, gising-gising din pag may time. Amen? Amen? Tumayo ka naman dyan. Eh, di ba nga, kung, kung ano, nag-exercise nga tayo para nga yung ating mga buto-buto, eh, ano naman, uh, lumalagatok-lagatok naman yan. Kasi, kasi sa kakahiga mo, kakaupo mo. So, dapat, ganun din yung spiritual nating buhay. I-exercise mo din yon By attending Bible study, by reading the Word of God, by praise and worship, Huwag mong sayangin yung opportunity na yun na, lalo na pag merong prayer meeting, that is the best time. You are in the presence of God. Nandun ka sa solitary place ni Lord. So, I would encourage those who are watching right now through live streaming, kung meron man dyan na You're about to make any decisions in life. Take a moment with the Lord. Pray. Seek God's face. Seek God's word. Read the word of God. Don't depend on your own understanding. Huwag kang mag -ma magaling na kaya mo. Kasi hindi natin kakayanin ang pressures ng mundo. And those who are in pain right now, Run to God. God's arms is open wide to embrace you, to comfort you, to give you peace, to encourage you. Maybe you're about to, you know, give up na. Kasi wala pa rin nangyayari sa kung ano man ang hinihintay mo. Eh nung nag-give up kay parating na pala, no, oh, isang step na lang. Be persistent. You have to persevere. Huwag kang kampante lang. Na as if okay ka ngayon. Wala kang problema. Kailan ka lalapit? Kailan ka magsisik kay God? Kung may problema ka na, nako po, mahirap. So I would encourage everyone to be, you know, vigilant, to be uh, courageous, And always, always seek the will of the Lord. Always read the word of God. Hindi, hindi ka magkakamali sa magiging desisyon mo. Kasi God will speak to you in the midst of your situations. If you seek Him, pero kung ayaw mo naman siyang isik, wala talaga. Hindi mo siya maano, hindi mo siya mahahanap. 
So rely unto Him. Don't rely on your strength. Don't rely on your ability. Don't rely on your capability. Rely on Him. Run to God. Always. Always. Kung medyo na-disappoint ka, na-discourage ka, call your brethren to pray over for you. Ay, nang sarili ka, wala man nagpa-pray over sa'yo, di mas lalo kang binumbahan ng kaaway, o oh, wala na. Nagsamot-sari na yung mga doubts dyan sa isipan mo. Di mo na alam kung anong gagawin mo, di mo na alam kung anong decide mo sa sitwasyon mo. So, don't do that. Read the word of God. Pray. Lord, help me decide. I don't know what to do. Lord, give me the strength because I am about to fall. I am about to surrender. Lord, encourage me. Speak to me, Lord. He is your strong tower. He is your ever-present help in times of your needs. So, before I will close, to those who who doesn't have the personal relationship with our Lord Yeshua HaMasaya, we'd like to invite you right now to bow down at manalangin tayo ng taintim sa ating mga puso. Make it a personal prayer for tonight and repeat after me. Lord Jesus, thank you for this evening, God. Thank you, Lord God, for your words for tonight, God. Thank you, Lord God, for your love. Thank you, God, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord God, for your mercy. Lord, I come to you right now, Lord God, with an open arms, God. Lord, I allow you right now, Lord God, to rule over my life. Lord, I allow you, Lord God, to be my master, Lord God. Lord, I ask God for your forgiveness. I ask, Lord God, for your precious blood to cleanse me, Lord God, from my entire being, O God. Forgive me, Lord God, for all the things that I have done, Lord God, in my thoughts, in my actions, in my words, the way I deal with people, Lord God, Lord, forgive me. And teach me, Lord God, not to sin again, O God. Lord, I invite you right now into my heart. Manahan ka, O Diyos, sa aking puso bilang Diyos ko at nagpagligtas. And Lord, from this day forward, Lord God, help me, Lord God, to walk with all humility. Help me, Lord, to walk in obedience to your words, God. Help me, Lord God, to understand your purpose in my life, O oh God. Lord, I thank you for the gift of life, Lord God. And Lord, I provide now, God, that, Lord, Write my name, Lord God, in the book of life, Lord God, so that, Lord God, sa pagbalik mo, Lord God, sa paghukom mo, Lord God, makasama kita, O Diyos. Lord God, thank you for this gift of life, Lord God, for tonight, Lord God. And Lord, I thank you for you are now my Lord, you are now my master, you are now my Savior. In the mighty name of the Lord, Yeshua HaMasaya, I pray. Amen. So now you are already a child of God. If you really pray from your heart and accepted Jesus Christ without any doubts, without any, uh, ano sa iyong pag-iisip, hindi ka nagdadalawang isip. So welcome to the family of God. And this is your best night ever in your lives. So in conclusion, I will... Uh, close in Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust Him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, for this evening, Lord God. Thank you, God, for the power, God, of your Holy Spirit, Lord God, to enable us, Lord God, to empower us, Lord God, to obey you, to walk with you, Lord God, in obedience to your words, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity, Lord God, that we hear another revelations that comes from you, Lord God. So, Lord, help us to God to surrender every area of our lives we are, where we are being weak, O oh God. And we allow you, Lord God, to change us, 
from one glory to another glory. We allow you, Lord God, to take over every, every area ng buhay namin na Diyos. Because God, apart from you, we can't do nothing, God. So Lord, we thank you for your love. We thank you, God, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord God, for your unending love for us, oh God. I give you back all the praises and highest adorations. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. To God be all the glory.